Is the custom lightsaber market too oversaturated or on track to becoming too oversaturated with different vendors and products? What do you guys think about this? So I've been thinking about this recently because we have so many new products and kind of vendors really coming on the market. So we've had some really exciting new companies uh, kind of come to fruition in the past year or couple years, uh, like Kyberlite, Saber Trio and Electrum Saber Crafts are all pretty major manufacturers that are relatively new on the scene and they're giving some of the existing manufacturers a little bit of a run for their money. And we have some new exciting companies kind of coming about pretty soon. So, you know, like the people making the carbon fiber lightsabers, Bendu Armory, that's kind of an exciting new company to watch, and I'm sure there are others coming as well. So what do you think? I mean, which of these companies are going to still be around, you know, in five, 10 plus years from now? Of course, it's really hard to say. Um, it does seem like there's a lot more competition you see Ultra Sabers and Saber Forge kind of modifying their business models a little bit, especially Saber Forge has really expanded kind of the different products that they offer. And they've also started, you know, offering some of the really low end budget sabers that they don't manufacture themselves. And I'm sure that's to kind of compete with some of these up and coming companies. I guess I got to mention Patch Store too. I forgot about their, them. Patch Store and Wonder Force are also kind of some up and coming companies. So yeah, I mean, I'm sure I haven't mentioned them all, you guys. I'm just mentioning some of the companies that are, you know, they've really sprung up and they've become popular pretty quickly. So what are some of your new favorite saber companies and which companies do you think will be able to stick it out for the long haul? I mean, the ones with the track record like Ultra Sabers, Saber Forge, Vader's Vault, seems like they're on track, right? You know, to stick around for a few more years, but we've seen this paradigm before with other companies and I'm not suggesting this will happen here, but if companies end up falling behind in technology or the trends, then sometimes they can go by the wayside. So that's one of the disadvantages of being possibly an older company, but you know, older companies that are able to innovate are obviously able to kind of, you know, weather the storm and, you know, endure. So that's the flip side of that too. But I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. I think it's kind of an interesting topic and also feel free to mention any companies you may know about that have folded. So they've maybe folded because they weren't getting the demand they expected or for other reasons. Um, I'd love to hear about that below and just any predictions you may have for the lightsaber future. Let's talk about it. <laughs>